First, let's get acquainted with the Speed 44 and the different parts of the machine that we'll be using. Off to the right, we have our main power plug, as well as the power port that houses the fuses. We have our main power on-off switch, which when switched on, the Speed 44 is equipped with a warning light to let you know when the machine is receiving power. And off to the left, we have our motor on-off switch, which turns on both the cutter and the deburring brush. We have our tracer, cutter, and deburring brush located under the safety cover and safety shield. We have our carriage stop here that prevents the carriage from running into the cutter or the tracer. We have our lateral carriage lever that moves the carriage left and right. And then we have the carriage itself, which if you push down on the carriage handle, push in the red button and bring it forward, will allow the keys, will then bring the keys up to the tracer and the cutter to then cut the keys. On the carriage, we have our jaws that hold the keys, A, B, and C, A, B, C, and D clamps that hold different styles of keys depending on how they're they're cut, as well as the jaw knobs that lock those keys down into place. In the front, we have our shoulder guide that helps us determine that the keys are equidistant apart. The items on the bottom here are included with the Speed 44 machine, and the items on top are not included, uh, but they are tools that you will need to do various functions, such as gauging keys or performing maintenance. <clears throat> the machine does come with a 19 millimeter wrench, a locking rod, a three millimeter Allen key, and a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, two replacement fuses, two adjusting keys, two steel bars, two 1.2 millimeter steel pins, and two 1.7 millimeter steel pins. The last objects here are used for varying types of keys to fit into the jaws. Now the items on top that don't come with it that you will need. You will need a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter socket in order to loosen the bolts on the bottom of the machine to adjust the motor. You will also need a four millimeter Allen key and a five millimeter Allen key. You will need the original customer's key that you're gonna duplicate as well as a blank key. You will need a screwdriver, either Phillips or a flathead. You will need a chip brush. Even though the Speed 44 does come with a uh, a tray to catch up the metal shavings. It doesn't catch all of them, so you will need the chip brush to help clean up the, your work area and make sure that the jaws remain metal shaving free. And you'll also need a pair of safety glasses to be used in conjunction with the safety shield to help avoid any metal shavings from getting in your eyes.